Okay. Uh, so this is the 356 QB by Heritage Glen. Forest River product, of course, as to be expected. It's superior quality. Now you get your outside gas griddle right here. Uh -huh. Everything is on these nice slide. You know, they have a nice weight rating on the slides. You get your big deep sink out here, as well as your large outdoor refrigerator. Yeah. And actually, that's, that's actually running right now. Uh, they didn't, haven't hooked, had it hooked up for long, but you feel it. It's already yeah. cooling off. Yeah. Um, so very efficient, made by Everchill, great company. You get your outside storage for that. Moving upwards, again, you get your outdoor speakers. Nice feature to have. You can play it inside or out or both. Also, what you see here, you get your ground control mm -hmm. jacks. So there's going to be there's going to be four of those. And that's just going to kind of help you uh, stabilize and uh, level to a point. Okay. You don't really want to level too much with those, but uh, you can very slightly. So moving up here, you get a huge pass-through storage. I believe they call this a texas size storage. I may be wrong on that. Okay. It's, it's getting a little late. I apologize. <laughs> no, uh, I, but I totally yes, de that. definitely you have a nice battery cutoff switch right here. So if something were to like catch fire uh -huh. or anything like that, you can run in there, boom, cut the power okay. off. Everything's dead. So um, also nice little feature. There's uh -huh. a beer op opener in there. <laughs> That's always important. There you go. Um, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, also cool feature, these all have magnets. They don't have those cheap uh, little latches uh -huh. that hook, it, hook up this heavy door. So it's all held up by magnets, super easy to put up, super easy to put down. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and inside. Has those nice solid steps, as I said earlier, big yeah. guy like me, they really, really get a lot of benefit out of that. Now. Oh, this is open. Very, Yeah. very, very open. Now. You get your, uh, you get this uh, residential size refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. It's nice and big. You, uh, you can hold some pop cans here. You have your uh, produce rack inside um, next to your nice Furion cooktop and oven. And I believe this one actually has the rack and drawer underneath. So that actually blends in with the oven. Smart, uh -huh. yeah. right? Looks For your good. part, yes, it really does. Nice little feature. Big deep sink, a lot of storage space. Mm -hmm. uh, Heritage Glen, it's to be expected. And I like the lights above. The yeah, the accent lighting. Yeah. You know, you really want to, you really want to set that. You know, that nice ambient vibe in here. You mm -hmm. totally can. And uh, you know, and of course, storage still goes back. This is about 18 inches deep back here. I mean, I can. I'm. Oh yeah. That I just now touched the. Got to it. Yeah, it's. Plenty of room. All the way. It's deep. Yeah. Um, so you can hold a ton of stuff in there, just m more than just your salt and pepper shaker <laughs> right, right here. Right, right. U-shaped dinette. Um, I believe those are recliners um, that will, you know, they'll they'll just kick back, recline back a little bit, mm -hmm. so you can watch your big TV there. And um, probably the best thing about this trailer is this back here okay this is the kids sanctuary uh -huh. of all fifth wheel all bunkhouse right. trailers check it out oh yeah look at wow. how big this so is so much room you like this is this is about the size of a king size bed yeah that you can lay right here in the middle when it's all open up these kids have so much room to move around and they have a bunch of space right there behind you yeah Right there behind you, they have so much. And uh, of course, this is uh, this is the top bunk here. Uh, it latches up super easy, and it comes down with the teddy bear uh, mat mattresses on it. Super soft. I don't know if you talk about those people there. that are watching. They don't yeah. know how soft no, these are. No, they are awesome. They're very every soft. Every time I come in, I don't know if people have seen, but every time I walk in, yeah, they're, they just yeah. feel good. They, yeah. they're, I mean, them kids. I, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> uh, and of course, they have their own TV backer here. They can run a 32-inch TV right in here, and you don't even have to worry about them. You know, you know that they're going to be back here. Kid safety feature, 
has a climb up, hand, uh, like a hand grip, for when they when they want to climb up. Mm -hmm. A lot of trailers don't have that. That's a nice little feature to have. It has the roll down blackout shades, coat rack, outlets everywhere, and the best part is that they don't have their own bathroom. Wow. So wow. now it would take a little bit of supervision because that door I told you about when we were uh -huh. walking up. That goes right, right out there. the back. Okay. So, you know, I wouldn't leave him back Lock here too up. long yeah. to get too quiet. But right. uh, you do have the option that, you know, the kids, they want to go in and out of the trailer, uh, drop the muddy gear off right in here, and change directly as soon as they get in here so they don't have to track that mess all the way through. Nice feature. This is one of few fifth-wheel bunkhouses that has a bathroom all the way in the rear. So that's a really, really cool feature. Uh, as I said, this is this is about as good as it gets for a bunkhouse fifth wheel. Yeah, this is this is a lot of this is a lot of space. It really is. I mean, we're properly we could properly social distance in yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Like absolutely. we're all all three of us are uh -huh. properly socially distant right, right now. So it's um, a lot of space. Yeah. Very, very much wow. so. Very, very roomy. Uh huh. Now. Moving forward, there is so much to see in these trailers. I mean, just a lot. Of course, you still get your 5,000 BTU uh, uh, fireplace. These don't just put out nice, pretty little fire. It's warm. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think last time you were here, you almost burnt your knee yeah, on one. They yeah. Were, yeah. Yeah. They're warm. They do get warm. Yeah. So, you know, if, if uh, you and mama are sitting right here, she can sit right here. Her feet are never going to get cold. Yep. Uh, with the with the enclosed and forced air underbelly, uh, you know it's she you, you're not going to get a cold floor. Okay. Uh, so with that and that, you know her feet you're are going to be nice and warm all the time. And uh, nice feature frosted glass cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, let's move up to the bedroom. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to kind of backpedal here. Okay. Can I open that door? So. Pretty big uh, bathroom here, actually. Um, as I said earlier, when I'm walking through a trailer, these doors is always something that I'm concerned about. Right. Because my shoulders are wide. I'm a big guy. Uh -huh. So whenever I can walk in a trailer and I don't have to sidestep through mm -hmm. it, that's always something that I'm going to remember. Yeah. And Heritage Glen has those nice wide doors where you can get in and out and you don't have to worry about getting all cramped up. Two-piece shower, really tall shower head, uh -huh. so you don't have to duck down or anything like that. You get that nice two-shelf cabinet above your stainless steel sink. Yeah. Really a nice little layout of a bathroom. That's nice. I like these barn doors. Yes. Now, the, with the Heritage Glen, they really uh, they really have capitalized on... Uh, the on the barn house feel mm -hmm. it's uh, a lot of people like it that rustic feel yeah. it just it, it feels like home uh, that's usually the first reaction that we get when we're showing one of these right is that they're just like wow I could live in this thing yeah. you know and people do yeah uh, I know Absolutely. I saw somebody in the comments said earlier he's like uh, living in a camper is an RVing I mean it's very wrong. Yeah. Uh, people do this full time and uh, and they, they cannot be happier. Yeah. Because, I mean, the last I, time I checked, you can't, you can't move a foundation. Right. You know, you can move this. Uh -huh. You can't move a foundation and a house on it. Yeah. So, really, I mean, the freedom to just live out your retirement or whatever and one of these things is just perfect. I just talked to uh, Bonnie, who they, she and her wife, or she and her husband are... Uh, close to retirement and plan on making this their next step exactly yeah. a lot a lot of people do that and um so with that um i mean these things are very livable i see you uh noticed how big yeah the uh the walk-in closet is up there it's and nice. of course like the uh like the like the big horn we looked at uh-huh this has those shelves up front yeah now the big horn where that was at about a $60,000 price point, I believe this one is actually, uh, is going to be less than 43. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have, I don't have my cheat okay. sheet with it's me. On, it uh, be on the it's, below. it's going to be, uh, probably right there. <laughs> and, um, so if I'm wrong, don't hurt me in the comments too bad. Uh, but anyway, 
That there's that, and I think uh, does this have a washer and dryer yeah. prep? Yep. So yeah, this does have a washer and dryer prep, and it has a nice little cavity right over here that is set out for a nice stackable washer and dryer that you can actually you know get a decent amount of clothes in it. Has a nice little bench there you can sit on to put your shoes on. Uh, of course, you get you get uh, nice deep drawers that uh, have nice strikers in them. Everything is anti-slam, of course. And uh, yeah, ducted. Uh, oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> it's it's kind of warm out here today. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This uh, really cool trailer. Uh, definitely um, for a fifth wheel. This is going to be very budget friendly uh, for a fifth wheel.